Jeffrey. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We are about to close the coffin. Those of us who would have had a, uh, you know, close contact with Sister Pierre would know that she has lived a very honorable, sincere life as far as her faith is concerned. We'll ask Pastor Moore to just offer prayer and then we'll ask the Paul Bearers to take the coffin across or the casket and we'll have the committal there, all right? all right? So let's pray. Father, we come again this afternoon because we have come to the end of another chapter of someone's life. Mm -hmm. Strengthen us, all of us who are alive and remain. And even as we do this ceremony this afternoon, we ask that your presence will be with us. And we know that your desire is to draw us closer to you. So may this experience be even like that of Samson, where his life was even at the point of his death. He still did something for God. I pray that each one of us will learn from this experience and that we will be drawn closer to you at the end of this day. Amen, amen. Because we have seen how life is like a wind. So bless us all and... Be present with us now, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
it take a lot of the shit and use here. Yeah, everybody in the shot. I'm show me teeth in
as well. Is well gone? Okay. We have come to the end of this phase of our service. We are about to leave, but before we do so. Father in heaven, you have come to lay your daughter to rest. And based on the promise that you have made, that when you come back, those who have died in Jesus Christ will experience the first resurrection. Mark the spot so that on that great resurrection morning, when Jesus Christ shall come gliding down the skies and the trumpet shall sound, or dear sister will hear the trumpet and come up first in that first resurrection. So bless the family members. As we leave this place, help us to remember that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Help us to make preparation to meet him in glory, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.